The following is a sponsored program paid for by First Alliance Credit Union. Welcome to Good Money Moves featuring Jenna Tobble from First Alliance Credit Union and Andy Brownell. Here's Andy Brownell on Rochester's News Talk, 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM. Welcome to Good Money Moves. I'm Andy Brownell and I'm with Jenna Tobble, the Director of Brand and Digital Member Experience at First Alliance Credit Union. Hello, Jenna. Hey, Andy. Good to have you again on the program. <laughs> Good that you have me on the program as well. But last week we <laughs> talked about using balance transfers to pay off credit card debt, especially after the holidays. Common problem. Mm -hmm. What is the topic for Good Money Moves this week? Yeah, so we have over the past couple of weeks, you know, as well as I do, we've talked all about preparing for the year ahead, including how to set and reach financial goals of all kinds. And the one thing about financial goals is that most of them are going to require you to save money to reach them. Sure. And where do you put that money? A savings account. Of course. Now, <laughs> This is obviously common knowledge, but what isn't as commonly known is that you can actually open more than one savings account to reach these goals. You can open up multiple savings accounts. And when you do this, they can actually give you some really huge benefits to reaching your financial goals faster. Oh, well, I'm game for that. Okay. So give me a benefit. What's the first benefit for opening multiple savings accounts? to reach these financial goals? Yeah, so opening multiple savings accounts makes saving for multiple financial goals easier, right? So let's say you're saving up for three separate financial goals. You wanna buy a new car, you wanna take a vacation next year, and you maybe wanna be able to buy a new refrigerator because yours is just, it's gonna die any day. Sure. So you could put all the money you're saving into one savings account, However, you'll also have a harder time keeping track of how much money you have saved for each one of those goals. Now, let's say you have saved up like $10,000 in your savings account. You'll have to keep very careful records to remember that $1,500 of that is for your vacation, $5,000 is for a new car, another $1,500 was saved up for the refrigerator, and the rest is maybe just going to sit there in case of emergencies or for maybe a, a goal you haven't figured out what that is yet, right? So even if you are keeping track of that, you'll have to figure out how to divide up all that interest that you get then for that money between those goals. <laughs> um, but even more, if you put the money intended for each goal into a separate savings account, though, you'll have an easier time keeping track of which funds are meant for which goal. So this is a really great way to organize your savings. And you can even make this process easier by using something like direct deposit to split your paycheck between those different accounts and automate putting the money in there for you to start to build up each towards each of those savings goals. That's a great point. Um, the, the, the muddling of the funds in one yeah. savings account, I can see where that can really mess you up, especially if you're mixing it up with what should be your emergency fund. Because yeah. the temptation to spend that money is going to exist. Because, oh, look how close I am to the goal for that new car. Uh, exactly. Let's move it up a month by robbing from the emergency fund to do it yeah or even just oh look i've got ten thousand dollars in my savings i can afford to go to this concert sure kind of forgetting in the back of your head that oh yeah i actually had different ideas for how to use <laughs> that money right it kind of gives you this false sense of security a little bit yeah yeah uh, and it's also I, I like the idea that if i look at my bank statement i can in one second say oh look at that i'm where I'm at towards reaching those goals. Yeah. Okay. So any other benefits I need to know about for multiple savings accounts? Yeah. So I, I think it's important to think about too, that when you, when you get to see really how much money you have saved for each of your financial goals, you also know how 
really how close you are to achieving them, right? Which in and of itself is a really, really great motivator. So especially the closer you get to reaching those goals. And of course, you know, this does come with a caveat that you need to know how much you need to save for in order to reach those goals. But knowing how close you are to your goal isn't just a good motivator. It can also help you determine really how to prioritize your goals. So if you're close to achieving one goal, for instance, you might prioritize that one and divert money, more money towards it than you otherwise would have because you're just that much closer. Sure. On the other hand, if you have a goal that you feel is underfunded, like, oh, I'm not really reaching this goal as quickly as I need to or as quickly as I thought I would, you might need to divert some money um, into that account to build it up faster, you know, or perhaps life unexpectedly put a wrench in your plans and now you have to buy that new refrigerator sooner than expected and you need to use funds maybe from your vacation money you saved to make it happen because now it's a little bit more of a pertinent um, situation to deal with. You can only go so long without having a working refrigerator. So this is why it's really important to to start to organize your savings and your and your goals a little bit in these different accounts because it just makes it so much easier to really assess where you are in reaching those goals. And along with what we talked about earlier about keeping it together and the difficulties that creates, if you have it all lumped together, as you pointed out, that one larger sum may deter you from saving. You could possibly rationalize, eh, maybe this month I'll skip it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Because, oh, look how well I'm doing. But if you split them out into those individual goals, not only will you'll see the progress you're making each month, hmm? you, I bet you'd be less tempted to suspend your your efforts. Yeah, absolutely. So, in other absolutely. words, not only are you giving yourself motivation by doing this mm-hmm. and seeing the goals that might need more attention and perhaps doubling down your efforts to get there a little bit quicker. Um, so I guess you more or less talked me into it. Um, <laughs> I'm ready to go out and do this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's um, hear me out just a little bit longer, if you will, Andy, you might. Okay. <laughs> so that there's a final benefit I want to talk about when it comes to using multiple savings accounts to reach your goals. So you can have different types of savings accounts for different goals, right? That's what we've been talking about, right? You could have a traditional savings account. This is a good place to start your savings goals, but it's not the only type of savings account, right? So if you think back to past, 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 past episodes of this show, we talked about different types of savings accounts. So for instance, there's the money market account, This gives you a higher interest rates than a traditional savings account, but you do typically have to have a higher balance in order to open one. You know, some some institutions have it at 500, 1,000, 2,000, some have it even higher than that. There's also certificates of deposit, which tend to have a lower minimum deposit requirement um, than a money market. In in a lot of cases, but you do have to keep your money in the CD for a set amount of time to get that much higher interest rate than you're getting with even a money market account or a standard savings account. Right. So there's that caveat. You have to lock up that money and agree to keep it there. Now, we also have talked about before on the show is um, prize link savings account. And the one specifically at First Alliance Credit Union is called the win incentive savings account where you're eligible for a prize drawing every time you build up your savings in increments of $25 essentially. So also a really great way to kind of kickstart your savings if you're not someone who does regularly save and you're it's not something you've done before and you're maybe not sure where to start. That win incentive savings account is such a fun account. Um, you just kind of teaches yourself to regularly put money away in in small amounts, right? It's not, you're not being asked to put hundreds of thousands of dollars away at once. It's $25, <laughs> right? 20, everybody, you can do $25. And with a chance that you could win up to $5,000. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to get off my pedestal about incentive savings accounts. I just love them. Well, They're so fun. <laughs> well, that'd be a, a great outcome. 
to, to win one of those prizes. Yes. Yeah. Also, that refrigerator or vacation got a lot more realistic, a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah. Right. I know. I don't know what I would do if I won five thousand dollars. That'd be great. I would All right, definitely well, go on vacation. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break here on Good Money Moves. We're talking about multiple savings accounts, um, the multiple advantages of having more than one savings account to meet your financial goals on Good Money Moves. We'll be back in a moment on News Talk 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM. Good Money Moves continues in moments with Andy Brownell and Jenna Tobble from First Alliance Credit Union. This is News Talk 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM. We're talking Good Money Moves with Andy Brownell and Jenna Tobble from First Alliance Credit Union on Rochester's News Talk, 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM. Good Money Moves. I'm Andy Brownell with Jenna Tobble with First Alliance Credit Union. And Jenna is describing the advantages of opening multiple savings accounts. It even went through some of the different types of savings accounts that are available that might uh, earn you a little bit more interest as you save money towards reaching your financial goals, whether it be a vacation, a new car, or a refrigerator. Are there, I guess, you covered money markets, you covered getting certificates of deposits, and even the Wincentive accounts uh, mm -hmm. aimed at people who are new to the game to give them even a little bit more motivation. Yeah. Are there other, other types of saving accounts we need to consider? Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you have very, there's specific accounts that have very specific purposes, right? So you think about things like retirement savings, right? If that's a goal for you, you want to look at accounts that are things like IRAs, um, Roth IRAs, right? there's all kinds of um, different retirement accounts out there, but those are some common ones. Um, if you're thinking of saving money for your child's college education, something like a Coverdell um, savings account is a great option. Um, of course, if you're trying to build if build up money to help fund um, upcoming health costs that you might have, medical costs, then there's things like health savings accounts that you can use, you know, bearing in mind that those typically are only accessible if you have a high deductible health insurance plan. Um, Which a lot but, of us do nowadays. A lot of us do. They do. And, you know, speaking of all of these in very general terms, right, these accounts have do have restrictions on how much money you can put into them. Some of them give you tax breaks um, in different ways, whether it's money going in or coming out. Um, so there's a lot of different benefits and things to consider when you're talking about those. But if you do have some of those much longer term goals like saving for college or retirement, there are special accounts set up that can help you get there faster and are a little bit better for you when it comes to those those bigger, longer term goals as well. So again, you just need to take time to really take a deep dive into those. Those are all whole different shows in and of themselves to dig into those types of accounts. Okay. With, with all these different types of savings accounts for different strategies and different needs, how I guess, how on earth do I decide which one is the one that I should be opening? Yeah, so I would say if you're just starting to save, you can't go wrong with that traditional savings account. They usually have a low minimum deposit requirement, you know, especially at First Alliance Credit Union, you only need that $5. You know, we talked about that money market account as a really good place to get a better interest rate, but also, you have accessibility to your money when you need it, which makes it a really popular option for people to store their emergency funds and that they've actually already built up a little bit of. Um, we talked about CDs that offer those higher interest rates, but you can't access that money until the CD matures. So this makes it a really good place to store money you're saving for things like medium or longer term financial goals where you know for sure you're not going to need those funds for something else. Um, they do guarantee that higher return with that interest rate um, and it's a steady interest rate. So you know exactly how much money you're going to get when that CD matures, which is great. It's not flexible, right? A money market account could that interest rate can fluctuate with the market. That's the name. So I think, you know, if you've got questions about which type of savings account is the best one for your needs, you can always talk to a member advisor at First Alliance Credit Union. 
you know, we've talked um, at length about all of this on our blog as well. Um, and, you know, talked about several different types of savings accounts and can just give some good suggestions on the best way to use them as well. So. All right. Take advantage of all those resources that uh, you uh, tend to list at the end of our programs, right? Yeah, exactly. And uh, stop down at the credit union and chat with the folks and they'll probably steer you in the right direction. Um, if you tell them about what your financial goals currently are at this point. Okay. Exactly. We'll take another really quick break and we will return talking about savings accounts, specifically using multiple savings accounts to make it easier to reach our financial goals on Good Money Moves on News Talk 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM. Good Money Moves continues in moments with Andy Brownell and Jenna Tobble from First Alliance Credit Union. This is News Talk 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM. We're talking Good Money Moves with Andy Brownell and Jenna Tobble from First Alliance Credit Union on Rochester's News Talk 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM. Welcome back. It's Good Money Moves. I'm Andy Brownell, Jenna Tobble with First Alliance Credit Union, of course, with us. And we've been talking about multiple savings accounts and how we can use those accounts to meet our financial goals. Um. <laughs> The one thing we haven't talked about, Jenna, is to, uh, how do you, how to actually do it. How do we open up all these multiple accounts? Yeah, yeah, it's really not difficult, if to be honest, especially if you already have an existing relationship with the financial institution you're planning to open those accounts with. You know, for example, if you're a member at First Alliance already, in order to open up another savings account, you can either just talk to a member advisor, or you can even log in um, to your online or mobile banking account, and you can open up and add new savings accounts that way um, online. You know, and of course, depending on the credit union or bank that you're working with, their processes may look a little bit different. Some may have asked you to sign new documents for certain things. They might have, um, they might require you to come in. They might not like, right. So it's kind of overall, the process may be different, but overall it should be fairly straightforward if you already have that existing relationship with them. It's, it's not like you have to resupply all the same level of information you did when you first opened, um, oh, started sure. that relationship with that financial institution. Now, so, if you are, yeah. Well, well with First Alliance specifically, mm-hmm. if I'm doing this online, is it, I mean, can I just label these accounts refrigerator? Yeah. Yeah, great question. Yeah, in in our online banking platform, you can label all of your accounts with very custom names, right? So if you, you can literally name them car savings fund, vacation fund, new refrigerator savings fund. And if you cool. change your goal, you can rename it something else later. There's an, it, whatever you need to do to make it work for you and keep yourself organized. It's pretty flexible. Um, and another thing I, I, we haven't really mentioned is, you know, what do you do with that account once you've reached that goal and you've spent that money, right? You don't have to just leave it open. You can close it if you need to. It's not going to impact like your credit score or anything like that to open or close a savings account. Um, or you can leave it open and, like I said, kind of rename it for your next savings goal. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility there. And and I think that it this is why it's so such a great idea to use multiple savings accounts to meet your financial goals, yeah. because it really does just keep you organized and on track so much better than trying to just stuff it all in one place. And with First Alliance Credit Union, when I do this, is it just like the first account? It's five dollars and I'm in? Open each one. Yeah, well, to even have as a minimal that, balance. Oh, one dollar. Oh, okay, less. one dollar. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yep. And and you can have. I mean, with savings accounts, you can. You don't have to have money in there for it to be open. Um, but to open it initially, yes, you have to have at least one dollar that you're going to stick buck. in there. So. <laughs> yeah, and I think um. I I think it's important to to think about when you're 
you know, we talked earlier in the show about all the different types of accounts that you can have to help you reach these goals. And I think that as you start to get more advanced with your savings and and being able to save, that you really do start to look at some of those other types of accounts outside that traditional savings right. account. Because, I mean, the amount, the interest seems small, right? A, a dollar, a couple cents here and there, right? But that compounding interest is so, so important. And so I would really encourage people who have a little bit of money saved up already to just really start to consider what are some other options for for accounts that can help you save better, because there is a lot of options out there. And some of those options, particularly the certificates of deposit, are paying some pretty good interest rates nowadays. Oh, yes. Yes. There's some very competitive savings rate market out there right now. Yeah. So we've been talking <laughs> yes. about doing this, opening multiple accounts for the financial institution that you already have a relationship with. I imagine it's yeah. more complicated if it's not the case. Yeah, that's a, a great point. So if you are looking to open, uh, you know, accounts at a new financial institution, one that you don't currently have a banking relationship with, you are going to have to go through and initiate the new account opening process, um, which is shouldn't be overly difficult. Again, everywhere has different um, processes and procedures for how they go about doing that, but you are going to have to provide additional documentation like um, personal identification, like a driver's license, um, verification of your address, um, your social security number most in most cases, you know, things like that. So you are going to have to gather some additional information before you can just start opening all these savings accounts if you don't already have a relationship with that financial institution. So all in all, it can be a little bit more complex, but, uh, you know, if you're looking at what your options are for accounts and there's a financial institution that you don't currently have a relationship with that has the products that you need to meet your savings goals, I wouldn't hesitate to open accounts where you need to in okay. order to meet your financial goals. The one thing we haven't talked much about, even though you mentioned it earlier, is the idea of taking care of this automatically with direct deposit. So if I have yeah. set my goals and I know how much I need to dedicate to it each month or each paycheck to yeah. meet my meet my goal, uh, to have it, I guess what, I, I envision my money going down a chute and just getting split different ways and dropping in a bucket. Is mm -hmm. is that difficult to do? To set up? Yeah, so there's a couple different ways you can go about that, right? At the beginning of the show, I kind of mentioned direct deposits, you know, depending on your fin the financial institution that you are banking with and your HR department at your employer, that process may or may look a little bit different differently if you're going to split it at the direct deposit level, but if, which is, an, it, it should not be a difficult thing to do. You just can tell them, hey, I want this percent of my paycheck sent to this account and this percent of my paycheck sent to this account and a percent of my paycheck sent to my checking account. So you can, you can certainly do that. Um, another way to do it though um, is doing automated transfers. This is a service that First Alliance offers through their online and mobile banking where you can set up. You, if you get paid every month, you know exactly when that paycheck is coming in. So you can set automatic transfers up for that day to just move money wherever you need it. Like for example, I every time I get paid, I send a certain amount of, I have it set up to send money to pay my car payment. I have money set up to put money in my money market account. I have money set up to move money to my incentive. So it's just happening automatically. I don't even have to think about it. I don't have to let that, um, you know, fear of missing out. Oh, if I move this money, I might need it later. I, I shouldn't do that. It just is completely removed from my wheelhouse. I can't even see it. So it just happens automatically. It kind of it's a forced savings plan for yourself. So there's some really great ways that you can kind of automate your savings. To that is slick. As well. Yeah. I like that one a lot that the money goes from your direct deposit right into your financial and then mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. And you're meeting, you're meeting your goals without even having to, as you pointed out, have that anxiety, which everybody does. It's natural. Mm -hmm. If I move that money over there, what if I need it? Yeah. Yeah, you don't, don't even do think about it. 
And then you don't do it, and then you don't meet any of your goals. Exactly. Well, great information, Jenna, as always. Yeah. And uh, is there is there places that we can find easily more information? Uh, people have a need for more information about opening multiple accounts, the advantages of doing it, that sort of thing? Absolutely. As always, I encourage our listeners to visit our website at firstalliancecu.com. You can subscribe to our blog. We release new financial tips and advice there every week. Um, you can listen to past episodes of the show at firstalliancecu.com slash podcast or on carocnews.com. You can also subscribe to Good Money Moves on Apple, Google, and Spotify podcasts. And if you love our show, please leave us a review on your favorite podcasting platform. Or if you have a financial topic or question that you would like covered on Good Money Moves, please don't hesitate to send me an email at marketing at firstalliancecu.com. And of course, I strongly encourage you to reach out to our team at First Alliance Credit Union. They're here to help you start making good money moves today. That is First Alliance Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA and an equal housing lender. Thank you very much, Jenna. Absolutely. Great. I'm going to get to work on multiple savings accounts. Yeah. Right away. You sold me. Okay. We'll talk about another good money moves topic next week. Right here on News Talk 1340, KROC AM and 96.9 FM.